I just wanted to let you guys know that I am not a professional audio mixer, but who cares? We're going to do this tutorial anyway. Roll the intro. What up guys, Ryan here. Welcome back to another video. Yes, I know I'm not a professional audio mixer, but you guys have been asking how I treat my audio in post, and I wanted to give you guys a quick run through on how I do just that. Okay, so when you guys are watching my videos, what you're hearing is the final treated audio file. And if I get rid of all that treatment, you can tell that it's kind of missing something, right? I mean, it kind of sounds like it's flat, muted, just doesn't sound great. So when we add that treatment back in, you can tell it sounds a lot better. For those of you guys that don't know, when I'm out shooting or vlogging or something like that, I typically like to use my Rode VideoMic Pro. Now, when I'm at home, I like to use a little bit more of a professional setup. So for that, I use the Shure SM7B. All right, so since I'm using Premiere Pro, I'm gonna go down to the timeline and right click on my audio file and bring it into Adobe Audition. All right, so before we start doing anything in Audition, since you guys are watching this for the first time, we wanna basically save everything that we're doing right now as a preset so that the next time we come into Audition, we can simply click this preset and it applies all of these settings to your audio. Okay, so the first thing I like to do when it comes to treating my audio is to actually apply a little bit of noise reduction. Now, a good tip to know when you guys are recording audio is before you start talking, give yourself a few seconds of room tone so that you can capture a noise print which will help you reduce your noise. Room tone is basically just recording a few seconds of background noise in the environment that you're in so that you can use that sound bite to reduce the noise in post. Okay, so now that we've got our room tone selected, I'm gonna go up to effects, noise reduction process, and then I'm gonna click capture noise print. Now remember we have just the room tone selected, so we wanna click select entire file so that it applies noise reduction to the entire track. Okay, so now that we've applied some noise reduction, the next thing I like to do is compress the audio just a little bit. You don't wanna to go too crazy with compression, especially since it's not really an easy thing to master. Compression is one of those things that can get kind of tricky rather quickly. So for this, I like to stick with a preset that I found works really well and gives me a good foundation to work with. Okay, so before I apply the compression, I typically like to normalize my audio to negative three dB and hit apply. And then I'll go back up to effects and click on dynamic processing. And this is actually a preset that I've created that I found works really well for vocal tracks. So copy these settings if you'd like, and then hit apply. The next thing I like to do is hit my audio with an equalizer. Okay, so we're gonna go to effects, click on a parametric equalizer, and we're gonna select a preset called loudest maximizer. Now I like to take the low end here and drop it to 100 Hertz and bump up the gain by 10 dB. Then I'll go to the high end and bump up the gain by 8 dB. And lastly, I'll open up another channel in the mid range, select 900 Hertz and drop the dB by 2.5 and then hit apply. Now you basically just wanna adjust these three points until it starts sounding good. Just be careful not to push it too far because you can make things start to sound a little bit too muddy or too sharp, and it just makes things sound kind of unnatural. And at that point, do you even mix, bro? So the last thing I typically do is limit and normalize my audio. So first, we're gonna go up to effects, click on hard limiter, and then select true peak, and then hit apply. Then I'll go back up to effects, click on amplitude and compression, and then click on normalize. And then I'll type in negative 0.01 and hit apply. And that's it. Now, before we jump out of Audition, you wanna make sure you stop recording your favorite and type in a favorite name so that you can come back in next time you're in Audition and quickly treat your audio. All right, guys, that's pretty much all I do in terms of treating my audio to make it sound a little bit better than when it comes out of the camera or a recorder. And if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can post them in the comment section below. And in case you guys didn't know, I'm uploading twice a week now, every Tuesday and Friday. So if you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. I've ever told you guys how much fun it is to mess with- Oh my god, that is way too bright. <laughs>